In this video, I'll be using group policy to bring back the old right click menu for Windows 11. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page, and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video. And I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also, in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup. And there is also a video about how to create a VMI filter for Windows 10 and Windows 11 that I will be using in this video. And now I'll begin this video by going to my Vember workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I'll be creating my group policy. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Windows 11 mouse menu. Then I will click OK. I will expand Group Policy Objects. I will select the, the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select Edit. And I will be creating this policy for my users. So I will go to User Configuration, Preferences, Windows Settings, and then Registry. Then I will right click in the window right here, go to New and select Registry Item. And here for the action, I will leave it at update. For the hive, I will leave it at current user. And now for the key path, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have all the necessary information. So I'll select the, the key path that you see here and I will copy it, go back to my server and insert the value here. Now for the value name, I will select default and I will leave value data empty. And now I will click apply and OK. And that's basically it. Now we can close this window. Now for the VMI filtering, I will select Windows 11 because I want to deploy this uh, policy only on the computers that are Windows 11. Then I will go to details and for GPU status, I will select computer configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only user settings in it. And I will leave other settings on default. Now after creating the policy, I need to assign it an organization unit that is holding the users to whom we want to deploy the settings. In my case, the organization unit will be this one. It's called users and it is holding all the users in my domain. So to assign the policy, we'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. And as you can see, the policy appeared here and also in the list here. And that's basically it. Now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. As you can see, this is a Windows 11 client machine. And if I right click, you can see that I still have the new style of the right click menu and that's because even though i created the policy i didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines so i'll do it manually and for that i will go to start menu i will search for cmd and here i will type a gp update press enter and wait a bit and as you can see the policy update was successful if i try to right click again you can still see that i have the new style and that's because for the settings to apply i need to relog so i'll sign out and then I will sign back in. And if I right click now, you can see that the right click menu is the old style. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.